division, sometimes called bus stop method, is a written method used for dividing two digit numbers by a one digit number. So we've got 48 divided by two, 48 is our two digit number, and we're dividing by two, which is our one digit number. I'm going to start by showing you how to set out short division, and it starts with two lines. So we have one line coming down, and one going across. So it looks a little bit like a sideways L shape. So because the number we are dividing by is two, that needs to sit on the outside here. And 48 needs to go on the inside here. So now we're ready to work it out. We've got 48 divided by two, so we're looking at numbers in the two times tables. And it can help to actually write down the side a list of the times tables that you are looking at. So obviously we're looking at the twos, so you can count with me. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So I'm not going to go all the way up to two times ten. I've just gone up to two times five for now. Right, we have our first division now, so we need to look at the four. So we need to do four divided by two. And in order to do that, we need to think how many times does two go into four? And this is where our list of times tables can help us because we can actually count how many times the number we are dividing by goes into a number. So let's see how many times does two go into four? So it goes in once, twice, so one, two. So two goes into four two times and we can check that with a quick multiplication two times two equals four okay let's move on to our next division this time we are dividing eight by two so just as before we need to see how many times does two go into eight so let's count one two three four so two goes into eight exactly four times. So I can put my four here and I can check that again with a quick multiplication. Two times four, yep, equals eight. So 48 divided by two equals 24. Let's have a look at another division question. So this time we're doing 75 divided by three. 75 again is our two digit number and we are dividing by three, which is a one digit number. So let's get it set out. So remember, one line comes down, one across, so it's our sideways L shape. We're dividing by three, so three needs to sit on the outside here and 75 goes on the inside. Now, because I'm dividing by three, that means I'm going to be using my multiplication facts for three times tables. So let's write our list of the three times tables down the side and you can count along with me too. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. So this time I've gone all the way to 10 times three. You don't have to, but it might help you if you would like to. So let's have a look at our first division. So we're dividing seven by three. So we're seeing how many times does three go into seven? So let's look at our multiplication list for the three times tables and let's get ready to count. One, two, three. Right, now I know that nine is bigger than seven, so I need to go back to the previous number, which is six. So three goes into seven, one, two, it goes in two times, okay? Now, three times two is six, and I wanted to see how many times three goes into seven, so this means that there is a remainder. Now, Three times two is six, but what do we add to six to get to seven? We add one. So six add one equals seven, which means one is our remainder. Now, because I have a remainder of one, I then need to carry that remainder over to the next number, which is five. So my one will sit in front of five. 
what this now means is that five is no longer five. It has become 15. So for my next division, I'm going to be doing 15 divided by three. So I need to see how many times does three go into 15. So again, I've got my three times tables down the side. So let's count how many times does three go into 15. One, two, three, four, five. So three goes into 15 five times. And I can check that with a quick multiplication. Three times five is 15. So now we have done our division, we can see that 75 divided by three equals 25. Let's have a look at one more division question together. So we have 65 divided by five. So again, I'm going to set up my short, multi uh, short division sorry, method. And we have uh, two digit number 65 and our one digit number, which is five. So five needs to sit on the outside and 65 on the inside. Now, because we are dividing by five, again, to help me, I'm going to be writing down my five times tables down the side. So count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, let's get started. So our first division will be six divided by five. So how many times does five go into the number six? So let's have a look. One, two, oh, can it go in twice? No, it can't because 10 is bigger than six. So we need to jump back. So five goes into six once. Now, I need to work out what my remainder is because we've not quite reached six yet. We've only reached five. So what do we add to five to make six? Well, five add one equals six. This means that I have a remainder of one which needs to be carried. And that gets carried over to our next number, which is five. This number now becomes 15. So let's see how many times five goes into 15 because our next division is 15 divided by five. So let's count how many times five goes into 15. One, two, three. So we can see we have 15 here. So five goes into 15 exactly three times. So one, two, three. And that three I can write in the answer box here. So 65 divided by five equals 13. Have a go at these three questions here. So pause the video and I'll be going through the answers at the end of the video. Okay, let's see how you got on with those questions then. So let's have a look at the first question, 64 divided by four. So I'm going to set out my short division, four on the outside, 64 on the inside. Now we're dividing by four, so I'm going to be writing down my four times tables at the side to help me. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Okay, let's have a look at our first division then. So we should have six divided by four. So how many times does four go into six? Let's count. One, two. Right, it can't go in two times and that's because eight is bigger than six. So we need to go back. So we can see that four goes into six once so i can write number the number one here above the six now we're not quite finished yet because one times four is four and we need to know how many times four goes into six so that means we've got some remainders to find so we know 
but it went in once with four went into six once. So what can we add to four to make six? Let's count five, six. So we have a remainder of two. We move that remainder over to the next number. So four has now become 24. So for our next division, 24 divided by four, we're seeing how many times does four go into 24? So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, look, we've got 24. Exactly. So four goes into 24 exactly six times. So I can write the six here as my answer. So 64 divided by four equals 16. Right, let's have a look at the next question. 81 divided by three. So let's turn over. So we need to set out a short division for 81 divided by three. I can count up in threes down the side. Like so. And let's see if we can answer this division. So we have eight divided by three. How many threes go into eight? So let's count together. One, two, three. Oh, nine is bigger than the number eight. So let's jump back. So we have one, two. So three goes into eight exactly two times. However, three times two is six. So we obviously have some remainders, so we need to count on from six until we get to eight. So six, seven, eight. So we have a remainder of two. So we move that two over to our one, over to the next column. So we have 21 as our new number. So let's count how many times three goes into 21. One, two three four five six seven so here we go we've got 21 so three goes into 21 exactly seven times one two three four five six seven so i can write that seven in the answer box so 81 divided by three equals 27 And finally, let's have a look at our last question, 95 divided by 5. So let's get our short division set up. Like so, and I'm going to count in my 5 times tables down the side. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So let's have a go at solving this question then. First division, 9 divided by 5. Let's see how many times 5 goes into 9. 1, 2. Oh, straight away we can see that 10 is too big, so we need to go back. So 5 goes into 9 just the once. So we need can write 1 in our answer space above the nine. So one times five was five, which means we have some remainder. So we need to count on from five until we get to nine. So let's count together. So we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have a remainder this time, or a slightly larger remainder than before. We have a remainder of four, which I then need to carry over in front of that five so five now becomes 45 so 45 divided by five is our final division meaning how many times does five go into 45 so let's count together one two three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So can we see, look, we've got 45 here. So five goes into 45 exactly nine times. So let's count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can place that nine in the answer box here. So 95 divided by five equals 19. Now, hopefully you got on okay with those questions. If you need to, make sure you go back through the video and have a look at those methods. And if it helps, write down the times tables down the side. It's a nice, easy way of helping you count how many times a number goes into another number and then you'll be able to work out your remainders.